Hello, my name is Caroline, and in this video, I'll unbox and set up the Pi Top 4 with my laptop. Yes, that's right, instead of connecting a Raspberry Pi to a separate monitor, mouse, and keyboard, I'll use my laptop's screen, keyboard, and trackpad. If you're looking for a great STEM kit, for your kids or you're an adult looking for a beginner friendly way to learn electronics, take a look at this Pi Top 4. This is a Raspberry Pi 4 on steroids for all ages. Now let's get started. Full disclosure, I received this Pi Top 4 from the company in exchange for my feedback. This is not a paid endorsement of this product. Let me start with the unboxing of the Pi Top 4. Pi Top 4 actually comes in two boxes, and we will start with the box that contains the actual Raspberry Pi 4. And here it is, the Pi Top 4. It tells you right here, go to pi-top.com forward slash start. This is the main component itself, and it's got some buttons, it's got a tiny screen, and there is a port for an expansion pack here. They've moved the ports over from just a regular Raspberry Pi, just if you want to compare a regular Raspberry Pi, they've moved the ports that are on the end are now on the sides, and I think this is the power. There's there's actually a switch now. A regular Raspberry Pi does not have a switch, and they've moved the GPIO pins from here to right here. The SD card, one of the first things they ask you to do in the manual is check to make sure the SD card is inserted properly, and that is right here. There is the SD card, That's the Raspberry Pi 4. Then here are some instructions. Let's how to get started. And it says right here you can connect it to your laptop or you can connect it to a monitor. And warranty. And then here are some important connectors that I'm sure we're going to need shortly. Take that out. And you've got the USB-C cable. Now, check this out. This is the power adapter. It is USB-C. Contains plugs in case you're traveling, or I guess they use this for different countries. They ship you the same thing. So these are the adapter plugs. This is, you know, for US. I'm US, so I'm gonna just use as is, but there are lots of other plugs here. And then there's a little bag of goodies. So we've got some uh, GPIO pins, screwdriver, and other attachments that we may need later. Let's not lose any of these screws and I will put this back. That is box number one. Moving on to box number two. This is the foundation kit. Once again, go to pi-top.com forward slash start. This slides right off and you pull these tabs on either side and check this out. So on this side, you've got your expansion board and it's all labeled, and these are the little ports on the side, and this connector goes right into your high top, and so you just lay it in here, it snaps together like this, there you go, that's the expansion pack, and you've got all these little cables to plug in for your expansion pack on the sides, then here are the components, the accessories it comes with. Pull this off, and the accessories that you get are your LEDs, your buzzer, your ultrasonic sensor, your potentiometer, button, button, light sensor, buzzer, LED, and let's see, and these kind of fit on the bottom. As far as I can tell, they kind of snap together magnetically. This is now the foundation kit. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna power up our high top, and the power is this one, I believe. And we're back. We are getting ready to set up our Pi Top 4 with my laptop computer, and I've gone to pi-top.com forward slash start, and this is where it takes me to. It takes me to, hey, welcome to your new Pi Top 4. First things first, I'm gonna choose the, this is my first time using Pi Top 4. Let's get started. First, I need to plug it in. I just did that in the previous scene and I want to charge it. Oh wow, so this has a battery. Well, my regular Raspberry Pi 4 does not have a battery. This is an improvement already. Now there's a micro SD card, all right? We've already checked to make sure it is in there. 
And now I wish to connect with my own screen and keyboard or using another computer. I'm going to use my laptop computer. Now it says I need to download the real VNC. I'll hit download for Apple. All right, download VNC viewer. I believe I already have VNC installed on this computer, but just to show you how this works, VNC viewer, and then you drag and drop it to applications. And there you go. Okay, I have installed VNC viewer onto my computer. I'm gonna hit next. For this mode, you'll need to connect the display cable with the USB type A adapter attached to one end, plug the other end into the Pi Top Square display port, the middle one with the green edge to the other end on your Pi Top port. Okay, so I think I need, I think I need this cable and I think I need this adapter. This is the USB type A adapter. Plug that in. I will plug in this end here and then plug in my USB to the USB of my computer. Switch it on. There it goes. I think it is on now. Excellent. Once that Pi Top 4 is booted up, please use the down arrow. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, wow, it's, <laughs> it's coming to life. Once the Pi Top 4 is booted up, use the down arrow button on the mini screen to navigate to the VNC information page. You should see an IP address such as 192. 192.168.64.1. Choose new connection. And I'm going to type in 192.168.64.1. See if that works. Oh, okay, here it goes. Excellent, this is very promising. I'm gonna hit continue. And, okay, I believe it's gonna give me some account credentials. Hit next, hit next. And then, okay, here it goes. It's going to ask me to authenticate. The username is pi, and the password is pi-top. Oh, there it goes. Okay, it works, I'm in. Are you ready to be a maker? I'm gonna hit yes. And then choose my language, American English. I'm gonna hit OK. United States, OK. America, New York. I'm gonna hit OK. Yep. And then the New York time zone keyboard layout. I'm using the US keyboard layout. Wow, this thing is pretty much doing it itself. OK. Then I've got some terms and conditions I need to agree to. I'm gonna hit agree. And then I need to register this device. And then I'm gonna hit restart. And over here, I see there is a fan attached to my Pi Top 4, and it is, it's going right now. We're, and we're back. It literally says, and I'm back. Is there an internet connection available? I am going to, it says, click on the networking icon to select a Wi-Fi network. And let's see if I get on the Wi-Fi. Okay, I believe I am on the Wi-Fi now. Oh, there it is. Now it says, okay, we're connected. I'll hit okay. Okay, now I think we'll do some updates. All done, uh, let's start making. Okay, this is very nice. Pi Top Further, Scratch 3, MU, Sonic Pi, Chromium, first challenge, the launch. It said to click on that one first, so I'll do that. And I believe we are at our first tutorial. And we're back, I have the Pi Top 4 working right now. I just wanna run through a couple of the tutorials I went through and the changes I made and you know all that good stuff here. When you get it up and working, there's gonna be a little pop-up and I'll say, hey, do you wanna run updates? And you're gonna click yes, you're gonna to wanna to run all these updates and reboot. And after we do all of that, then we're gonna go into first challenge, the launch. And I'll click on that and it pulls up Chromium and it pulls up a web browser. So really you could access this anywhere you want to. And it goes into uh, first challenge, the launch and pitching blocks and all of that good stuff. And so we, we did these tutorials and they have a very interesting way that I've actually never seen before of how they run these tutorials. They have simplified things by using something called further in that it works without having to launch another application a python application unfortunately for me some of the code worked and some of the code didn't work using this further through the website if you're like me and it doesn't work perfectly for you what you can do is you can uh, let's see take the code let's see here's the code and i'm gonna just uh, i'm gonna select all right click select all right click copy then I'm gonna go over here I'm gonna launch Mu. so just click Mu, then click open application and we're gonna open the Mu application untitled and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna paste this is the code that I just copied and I'm gonna hit run and it's gonna ask me to save it I'm gonna say launch 
dot py. And then if you look on my screen here, uh, the pi top screen, you see the launch of the rocket ship and we have launch. You don't have to do it this way, but this is the way that works the best for me. Now, if you continue going down this tutorial and copying and pasting, making changes to the code, eventually you'll get to step 4.1, where you're attaching a red LED to your foundation and it's gonna to attach to your Raspberry Pi, Pi Top 4, like this. And then they give you a set of sample code and um, for me, all I did was just select all, copy, and then I went over here, and then I did new, and I did a paste, run, and then it prompted me, of course, to save my work. And I'm gonna do red led.py, and we hit run, and then it instructs me I need to press the select button down here in order for this to work. Let's see if this works, yes. So the red light blinks uh, as we count down five, four, three, two, one, then we have liftoff, and then we have that beautiful rocket ship. If you continue following along on the tutorial, you will connect the green LED, and then you can code the green LED to do what you would like for it to do. I coded both the yellow LED and the green LED to be part of my project here. And if I run it, and then I hit the select button, then you're gonna see the red and the yellow LEDs alternate during the 54321, and then lift off is the green LED. And then you see the rocket ship go again. And that is the end of launch. Absolutely, you can make this your own, and, and I did that. And the other thing I wanna point out to you is that I have these on top of these the Pi Top kit here, and they're, they're magnetic, actually, so. I thought that was pretty cool too. It's just all the little things. That is the first challenge launch. Now let's go into where you can see more items. So I'm gonna close my Chromium browser. I am gonna close out some of my Mew. I'm gonna hit new. We're gonna go back to the search portal here and it says you can get started with PyTop. So we're gonna click that next. And then it takes us to pi-top.com start. And we've already done the setup now we're gonna go into ready to make and we're gonna fetch our challenges and you can filter on these challenges to just Pi Top 4 component tutorials or Pi, Pi Top 4 challenges. Let's just do component tutorials for now. And there is this lovely component tutorial for the potentiometer. I click on that and now we're going to attach the potentiometer, the red, the yellow, and the green LEDs into the ports as they tell us to. So they say connect the potentiometer into A0 which is on the side, as they show here, and then the yellow, green, and red LEDs to D0, D1, D2, digital zero, digital one, digital two. And let's see if you wanna take a look at my pie top here. Uh, that is how I have connected everything up. So it's, it's right here, and there are these, these wires that they provide to you. So it's pretty simple with this foundation pack get all this wired up. Now, if I were to do this without the Pi Top board, I'd be getting out a breadboard, a bunch of resistors, a bunch of jumper wires to do exactly the same thing. This is practically plug and play. We have everything plugged in, working. And now, if you know your internal IP address, you can hit connect and then let's see if it runs. And in this tutorial, you see a value for the potentiometer, and as I turn the potentiometer left and right, the values change. And so we can see a value for the potentiometer. So I'm turning it all the way to the right now, and then I'm turning it all the way to the left. There we go. I'm just gonna skip to number three here, where we have the red, the yellow, and the green, and the colors are going to change different LEDs are gonna light up depending on the value of our potentiometer. All right, so to do that, I'm gonna hit connect, then I'm gonna hit, then I'll hit run, and sure enough, the yellow lights right up, and as I turn it to the left, the red lights up when it gets below 333, and then when it gets above 666, then the green LED lights up. And that's to, a way for you to show that by adjusting the potentiometer, you can turn off and on your LEDs. 
quick, pretty simple. Code is right there and you can modify it. So you could modify it to, instead of red, yellow, green, you could have green, yellow, red. You could change the colors around. So many different things you could do with this project. So let's go back to getting started, ready to make, start making. And let's look at this screen here and let's see if we can put our own name on the screen. I'm gonna go into component tutorials and we're gonna do the component tutorial mini screen. Uh, all you need for this tutorial is, you just need the, to look at the screen. All right, pretty simple there. Connect, then we're gonna hit run and then you can see welcome to your pie top. All right, that was easy enough. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do right click, select all, right click, copy in new, and then I will paste this down and then I'll run it. And then when I run it, it says, welcome to your pie top. Okay, excellent, perfect. That works exactly the way you want it to. I'm gonna hit stop. Now let's change it to, welcome to Caroline's room. How about we change it to, welcome to Caroline's room. You can change it to your name. And I'm gonna hit run, lo and behold. And that is the screen text, being able to display things on the screen text. All right, perfect. And that was a quick overview of the Pi Top 4. It is a Raspberry Pi on steroids with all sorts of accessories that you can easily code and put together. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye now.